Hello everyone. In this video, we will see a very important topic in Java, which is map and hash map. Definitely you will be asked questions from this topic in your interviews for freshers as well as experienced developers. So without any further delay, let's start. Let's see what is map and its properties. The map interface is present in java.util package. It represents mapping between a key and a value. Maps are perfect to use for key value association, such as dictionaries. Used to perform lookups by keys or when someone wants to retrieve or update the elements based on keys. The map interface is not a subtype of collection because it is not extending or implementing the collection framework. Therefore, it behaves a bit differently from rest of the collection type. A map can contain unique keys and each keys can map to the most one value. Since map is an interface and objects cannot be created of type map, we always need a class that extends this map in order to create an object. And also after the introduction of generics in Java, it is possible to restrict the type of objects that can be stored in map. So hash map is one of the implementations which allows a single null key and multiple null values. But this behavior is not applicable for uh, its other implementation like tree map. There are three implementations of map interface. First one is hash map. Hash map is a part of Java collection since Java 1.2. It provides the basic implementation of map interface of Java. It stores the data in key value pairs. To access a value, one must know the key. This class uses a technique called hashing. Hashing is a technique to convert a large string into a small string that represents the same string. A shorter value helps in indexing and faster search. Second one is indexed hash map. So this is just like hash map with an additional feature of maintaining an order of element inserted into it. Hash map provides advantage of quick insertion, search and deletion, but it never maintains the track of order of insertion, which is the linked hash map is used for. The last one is tree map. The tree map in Java is used to implement the map interface and navigable map similar to the tree set along with the abstract class. The map is sorted according to the natural order of its keys or by a comparator provided at the map creation time. This proves to be an efficient way of sorting and storing the key value pairs. Before we move to hash map in detail, let's see a few important methods which are present in map interface. The first one is contains key. Similar to that, we have contains value as well. So these two methods will return true if the provided key is present. And in case of contains value, it will return true if whatever value we are providing as an argument uh, for that we have one or more keys available in the map. Then we have clear method. This is used to remove all the entries from map. Then we have get method. So this is used to fetch the value of the key which is provided as an argument. We also have is empty method. This is this will return true if there is no data in the map. We also have entry set and key set. So these are nothing but they will return a set view of map and for the key set it will return a set which contains only the keys of the map. Then we have put method. This method is used to add a key and value pair to the map object. Then we have remove object similar to the other collection framework. So this method is used to remove any mappings from the mentioned key uh, from the mentioned map using the key which is passed as an argument. Then we have values. It will return a collection out of the values of map. Then we have get or default. So in this case, we will be providing two different arguments. It will either get that object for the key which we have provided. Otherwise, if it is not able to find that key, then it will return that default value which we have passed in our argument. Then we have put if absent. So in this case, it will check if the key already exists, then it will not add that. Otherwise, if it is not existing, then it will add that to the map object. Let's see hash map in detail with example. Hash map is similar to hash table, but it is unsynchronized. Hash table is also a data structure which is used to map keys and values. So let's see what are the properties of hash map. A key is always required if we want to access the values in the hash map. 
hash map uses a technique called hashing hashing is a technique to convert a large uh, string to a small string that represents the same string that we have already discussed so hashing is used to store the elements in hash map in our next video we will see in detail how uh, the hash map actually works how it is calculating the uh, hash codes and how the data is getting stored in hash table and we are how we are fetching it back from hash table hash set also uses hash map internally that we have discussed in our video for hash set that uh, hash set itself uh, in the back end using hash map to store the data hash map doesn't allow duplicate keys but it allows duplicate values a single null key is allowed in case of hash map now let's see a list of constructors which are available in hash map so the first one is the main default constructor so which creates an instance of hash map with the default initial capacity which is 16 and load factor which is 0.75 the initial capacity and the load factor we have discussed in our previous videos so if you want to check out please do check out my playlist the second constructor that we have is we can uh, provide only the initial capacity which will be uh, in the form of integers so that uh, whatever the initial size that we need for the hash table the next one is uh, expecting two arguments so in this case we can provide the initial capacity as well as the load factor and the last one is expecting a map as an argument so it creates an instance of hash map with the same mappings which are provided in the specified map now let's see an example where we will see few commonly used methods for hash map so in this example so here in our main method we are declaring a hash map of type integer and string so in this case key will be integer and the value will be string so we are naming it as employees so in a way we can say we are storing the employee id as key and employee name as string so how to add an element so dot put method is used for that there we need to provide both the argument first will be key and the second one will be name of the employee which is value and if we want to just print out the whole uh, employee section or the host employee object we can directly call system.out.println and employees so it will print in the console like this one is equal to mike two is equal to john and three is equal to bob but what if we want to uh, iterate through each and every element one by one so for that we can use for each loop and the entry set method so entry set will provide a set view for that map and which will be represented as entry for a single map so here inside the for loop itself we are using ciso and uh, printing employee id as entry dot get key which will print one two three and dot get value it will print the name of the employee so we will be getting output like this so there can be a requirements like if we want to remove a specific employee from this list so based on the employee number which is a key here so i want to remove the employee with employee id one that can be done using employees dot remove and passing one as an argument so what it will do it will uh, remove one mic from the employees hash map so we will be only having two john and three bob so what if we want to update a specific entity which is present in the hash map suppose we want to update the name of employee with employee id 2 so for that we can again use dot put method dot put method is used uh, multiple ways one is if we want to directly add it and if we uh, already existing component is there we can use dot put method to update its value so after executing this statement because we already have an uh, employee with id 2 available which is john so the value which is john that will be replaced with updated name so if we try to print the employees object again we will get 2 is equal to updated name and the bob will remain as it is the last function that we will be discussing is removing all the elements from hash map so we have dot clear method so if we try to use employees dot clear then all the mappings will be removed from hash map and if we try to print again the employees object it will be an empty response of these parentheses so that is it for this video in our next video we will see in detail how hash map is working internally so that is the actual question which is being asked in most of the interviews and examinations like how the uh, hash map is storing the data and how it is retrieving the data so we will discuss in detail for internal structure of hash map and hash table thanks for watching see you next time